<laughs> okay, guys, almost five o'clock. It's pit time. Anyway, okay, this is part two of uh, the heavy bag um, is the best piece of equipment in your gym series. Okay, I, I talked to you about the heavy bag in the first video, and this one I'm gonna show you the first workout. I'm gonna give you a bunch of workouts to do. This is gonna be one of them. Um, a couple things to take into consideration. Number one, um, when you guys are doing this workout that you're gonna see my guy doing, that's uh, little brother, or big brother, um, he's actually one of my students since he's four years old, he's 18 now, um, so he's the one doing that. Um, but you can do it alone, so you can do that whole workout alone, and you can do like increments, like you do two minutes of the first, uh, just uh, hooks and a sprawl, or hooks, yeah, hooks and a sprawl, then you can do two minutes of head kicks and a backdrop, and then you can do two minutes of four straight punches and a shot, and then, then you put it all together, and you can do five minutes of all of it put together, like you're gonna see him doing at the end. So whatever I'm saying right now, you're gonna see it uh, right after I'm done talking, and, and uh, Big Brother's gonna um, demonstrate it for you. But that's just one of the kajillion workouts that you can do with the heavy bag, and that's why I say it is the most important part of any combat fitness, martial arts, MMA gym, Taekwondo, whatever. If you're teaching punching and kicking, heavy bag is the most important uh, piece of equipment you have. Because not only does it give you great skill building, power building, strength building, uh, anaerobic, aerobic, cardio workouts, um, it, it teaches you great skills. So, um, anyway, so that's the workout you're gonna see. I'm gonna give you one little tip, real quick. This is a special tip. I'm only giving it to you guys, okay? But for this tip, I want you to comment and tell me how you like it. Okay, when you hit the heavy bag, one of the biggest mistakes I see when people are throwing hooks, especially the left hook, is they throw it there, okay? Watch again. Now, if you hit someone there, you're hitting them somewhere around the ear. Okay, that's great. But it's not as great as hitting them in the chin. That's when they're going to drop. So when you hit a heavy bag, instead of hitting it wide, actually focus on hitting it right here. Because right in the front of the bag, that's the chin. And that's where you want to hit. Because that's what knocks people out the quickest. Okay, so when you hit the heavy bag, visualize the chin. Always imagine that you're hitting the chin. Because what you visualize in training will become reality in your fight. Hopefully you don't have a fight in the street, but you might. But you might become a UFC champion. It's been known to happen, okay? So if you're gonna hit, when you're hitting with a hook, make sure that it's short enough. Now, that same hook will be wider if I'm out here, but you always aim for the front of the bag. Because you wanna hit your opponent in the front of his face, right to the chin. So visualize here. Not back there, right in the front. Okay? If you throw the right hook the, right the same way, throw it right in the front, not in the back. Alright? That's tip of the that's tip of the week. Comment below. Thanks for coming.